So welcome back to the TCM community and um, I'm very happy to be here I, with uh, Volker Scheidt. We ran, oh, well, we had an appointment at the airport. <laughs> and um, for those who, who, of you who don't know Volker Scheidt, he's an um, incredible, incredible herbalist. I've, you know, when, when studying uh, Chinese medicine, his books were really helpful <laughs> to me. <laughs> so, and, um, but I wanted to ask you, 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 you were just in Holland for uh, a course you're doing, uh, what is it called? What meta practice. Meta practice, yeah. So could you explain to us um, what, what is this idea about meta practice? Okay, so I mean, when we learn Chinese medicine, we all by now, I think, it's pretty clear to everyone. Mm -hmm. It wasn't always, but now I think it's very clear that Chinese medicine is not one thing. There's many different ways of doing Chinese medicine. So mm -hmm. when you do acupuncture, you know, there's Tung style, TCM mm -hmm. style, mm -hmm. that style, Chen style, but it's a bit like, you know, like martial arts, many different styles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But also in Chinese herbal medicine, you know, now like the people do what they call Jing Fang, but then mm -hmm. Jing Fang, there's different types of Jing Fang, yeah. and there's TCM acupuncture, there's Korean herbal medicine, Japanese, Kampo, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. So, so given that it's very different, mm. the question then is what do we do with that difference? How do we, how do we deal with that difference? Mm -hmm. So you can either, there's basically, I would say, three big ways how we can deal with it. Mm. Either we try to get rid of the difference and make one thing. Mm -hmm. Like say TCM, you could say that was an attempt by the Chinese state yeah. to bring all the different ways of doing Chinese medicine in, into one system, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. That satisfied everybody, you had a national curriculum, etc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the other thing is where if you, like say, if you go to more to um, Taiwan, for instance, mm -hmm. or if you go to um, Japan, you have loads of people doing their own thing. And you have this lineage and that lineage, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit here now as well. But the problem of that then is, Every now, I'm, I'm the truth. Yeah, I do. I, I do the real thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, if you're a student and if you start, I mean, how do you know what you should do? All right. Should you do this? Should mm -hmm. you do that? Or if you go through your career as a Chinese medicine practitioner, I mean, it's a, it's a bit hap. In the end, we all find our own way of doing mm -hmm. it, but it's often very haphazard way. Mm -hmm. So meta practice, I mean, if you actually also again look at the history of Chinese medicine, what people have done, people have long thought about how do we deal with this diversity, mm. plurality, yes, okay? And meta practice is just a fancy name of how we can uh, n not, not make it an arbitrary thing, right. but, 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 but work with difference yeah. productively. That's yeah. what I would say meta practice is, yes? Yeah, okay, yeah. so find a way of not having to choose either I do this or either I do that or I must follow this person I must follow this person but rather use try to have, have a way of how we can work with all the tools that we have to have neither one system yes mm. nor just like many different schools that are each other thrown yes mm. but really try to so that's what I that's what I try to do so in this course, yeah. yeah so in the course you're not teaching all the systems, you're trying to get people to integrate these systems. Uh, yeah, I have found uh, it's difficult to explain in like 30 minutes. No, of course. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I use a methodology mm -hmm. whereby we can look at the difference and then bring it all together. Yeah, yes. okay, okay. So, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. which, which works in, yeah. In, in, a, in a very clinically constructive way, yes, mm -hmm. like focused on clinical practice. So not like it, it's not about philosophy or anything. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's about clinical practice. Yeah. But um, if, if if you look at how we look at the body in Chinese medicine, yes. So we look at the organs. Uh, we have channels. Mm -hmm. uh, we have you know physiology, blood physiology. Uh, we have ideas of how we deal with pathogens. Mm. Now, if you know a bit about the history, these things, they didn't all come at the same time. They come at different historical yes. moments, yes, yes? Yes, yes? And the logics that they use are actually, when you look at it, they're not necessarily the same logic. Like, say, for instance, we use five phases. Mm -hmm. It's very cosmological. You know, the idea is, uh, the, how we think, is about resonance, yes? Mm -hmm. Like, 
brain, green, liver, anger. All right. How do these things hang together? They hang together because of a certain idea of resonance. They all correspond with what we call wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then if you think about, like, say, a pathogen invading the body, mm -hmm. we don't necessarily think about these kind of ideas of resonance. We think about something invading the body and going deeper into the body according mm -hmm. to certain areas in the body. Mm -hmm. It's a very different, if you think about it, it's yeah. a very different way. So we expect, you know, like when we talk about the five phases, we're trying to create a certain kind of order. Uh -huh. If you tr think about pathogens, actually we think there's some evil coming into us and we need to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not about creating order, that's about war. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So th these are not the same. Usually we don't think about it so well, but if you think about it a little bit deeper, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's actually <laughs> quite different. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I do, I tr you know, I have thought about this quite a lot. Yeah. I, I try to mm, look at all these, th there's, there's like, if you look at it very deeply, there's about five, six different ways of how we look uh -huh. in Chinese medicine uh -huh. about at the body differently. So I go through all of these different ways and then try to find a way for people to bring it all together. Uh -huh. That's my... That's my way of dealing with That's it. That's really yeah. interesting because just now by explaining this, because you, you, you basically you're, you're scrutinizing the, uh, the, the regular, the, the generalized TCM yeah. education, yeah. and then analyzing it and breaking it down and let us see that, that there are different patterns from different eras. Yeah. Because you just, now with this t talk, you let me realize like, okay, wait a minute. So all that we've learned in general TCM yeah, that's what comes from different... Because in TCM, it's like a put together. Yeah, yeah, Then yeah. it becomes a bit like, I call it a minestrone. Yeah. <laughs> you put... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you are left on your own to sort yeah, yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, to sort yes, it out. Okay? But, but actually, and you know, and not everybody likes to do what I, but I like to, you know, I know, I know my way around the history and I'm yeah. also, my way of thinking is quite analytical, uh -huh. or, I, or, or part of my brain. So, you know, you really need to think about that. If you yeah, don't think yeah, about yeah. it, just accept it. You know? But once you start it, then you, like you start saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. Yeah, it's it's just, I, had yeah, this moment, I, yeah <laughs> I had this epiphany yeah. just now. Yeah. No, but, um, okay. And, and the, so the next, uh, this is, the, you just finished this one in Holland and the yeah. next one's going to be in Switzerland. Uh, it's going to start next year. Uh, yes. So I, I mean, I put the, uh, I put this course together. Um, it's a three-year course, mm -hmm. and I taught it in Germany, in German. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing it twice, and I've done it once in English now here in Holland. Mm -hmm. So having done it three times, I know that it, I, you know, it was an experiment at first, but mm -hmm. I actually know now that it works, mm -hmm. and I know that I, I can. I know now that the people who go through it for three years, they come out as better practitioners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm starting another one, an English one, mm -hmm. in Switzerland. Oh, it's also going to be in English? Yeah. All right, okay. English, yeah, yeah. All right. I do one in German and one in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's all I teach at the moment, these three courses. Mm -hmm. uh, these, these courses. Uh, so it's pretty, um, it's pretty intense. Mm. So it's not for people who want to come just uh, sit in a course and uh, you have to put effort in. Yeah. Uh, it's for people who have a basic, you know, like you, you should have a, should have your undergraduate, so to speak. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you should know formulas and you should dif mm. disease differentiation. But then it doesn't matter where you come from, whether yeah. you've done Jingfang or TCM or what, and we've tried to put But I was wondering, is the emphasis more on herbal or herbal medicine? Herbal. Okay, all right. It's, all, okay. It's, it's really not an acupuncture course. It's okay, so it's a herbal medicine course. Because I, th I think herbal medicine and acupuncture are not necessarily the same. You no. know, like when no, you do... No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A I, acupuncture, you touch people. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do online. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But the uh, the one in Switzerland is uh, it's a live course. It's not online. No, we do because you know, I, we might have people from different European yeah. countries. Mm -hmm. So to make it possible, mm -hmm. um, it's half online and half. It's, so it's twice a year. It's altogether twelve modules. Yeah. So six are online, six, six are in person. Are, okay. Yeah. And and it's, it varies one one time online, one time. That's right. Oh, okay. So it's like, uh, yeah, always. Yeah, so always it's not the first half is online, no, it's no. just it's various. Okay. Each year, two online, two, two, oh, okay, two yeah. hybrid. Yeah? So yeah. it's a hybrid 
problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. That's yeah. good. And I, I'm still blown away by you know you explaining that, but it takes uh, a, also a, someone with uh, yeah a historian to come up with this type. I, I, think I, I so, can yeah. imagine. Yeah. yeah. Because, but actually, if you look at the, we are not taught that, but if you would look at you know the the, the problem that I outlined. Doctors in the history of Chinese medicine they have always been thinking about this. Yeah. And so it's not something that I picked out of the air. It's actually doctors in Chinese mm. medicine have thought about it. In the yeah. same way yeah, that yeah, they yeah. come up with, you know, like, okay, let's make TCM. Like yeah, people yeah, yeah. already had, you know, yeah. I, I could tell you the the people involved, but but, but it's probably something that has been around for much longer. Yeah, I was gonna say this has been years, yeah, yeah, this has been going on probably yeah. for uh, two thousand yeah, years. Long, long yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, speaking of history, you also you wrote two books, uh, uh, um, History of Chinese Medicine. I wrote a few by now, but... A uh, few by now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but two clinical books, yeah, mm -hmm. the Herbal Medicine yeah, book. Yeah, yeah. And I wrote another one, I edited one on research. Uh -huh. uh, and then I wrote one history book mm -hmm. about a particular lineage of medicine in China mm, called the Mengher, mm -hmm. uh, Mengher School. Uh -huh. Chinese medicine is a group of doctors from close to uh, Nanjing, where you study. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. Okay. Nanjing and Shanghai. Yeah. Um, and very, very influential. Uh, over and I, I just looked at the history of Chinese medicine over the last 400 years through this group of doctors. Uh -huh. Yes. And then I wrote um, the other book is called Chinese Medicine in Contemporary China. Mm. That, that I, I went to Beijing and I. I did anthropological fieldwork. Mm. I just spent time in Beijing in mm. different hospitals and just looked at how Chinese medicine works. Mm. Um, which at that time, this was the early 1990s. In early 1990s, you know, everybody just thought Chinese medicine is one thing. Yeah. But, yeah. but I look, you know, actually going around different that, doctors, yeah. I found out quickly that yes. it's not one thing. Yes, that's the, that's the same experience yeah. I had. You so find out very quickly that... It's another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what the first book is about. I call, it's called Chinese Medicine in Contemporary China, Pr Plurality and Synthesis, you know, okay. like how it's a different, but at the same time, how does it hang together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Really? And, and which one is uh, translated back into Chinese? Uh, the Mengha book is translated back in Chinese already. And uh -huh. the first one is at the moment, it, it has also been translated. I'm just literally in the process of ri writing the foreword, so it will be out in Chinese yeah. as well next year. That's also really, it's like this is the first time this is happening, uh, like a Western book has been translated I, I think the about TCM. I, I think, I don't know for sure, but I think my book was the first time yeah. a, a book by a Western historian yeah, yeah, yeah. got translated yeah, into because, Chinese. You know, the Chinese, why should this Western, you know, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I think now China is also changing, yes? yeah? Yeah. So they're becoming quite interested. In but that's also yeah. good that, that you have like a bird's eye view from a yeah, separate view. From from different from culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hopefully interesting for, but it's definitely, I mean like, definitely a different way of looking at the history of China mm -hmm. or Chinese medicine than it would be from for a Chinese person. Yes, so right. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, both many things I can't see because, you know, obviously I'm looking from the outside, yeah, yeah, so I'm yeah. not really deep, as deep in the culture as yeah. a Chinese person would be. Yeah. And my language skills are limited. But on the other hand, I think I have a di uh, you, you can bring something very different to the table. Yes, yeah? it's a very different perspective yeah. and that's what makes it interesting yeah. as well. I know we could go on for hours probably, but uh, you have a plane to catch. Thank so, you so thank you very much. Thanks for, for the uh, for the Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time and uh, maybe in uh, Switzerland or Berlin, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. see you next time. Okay, thank you.